This is a video about a Game Boy copying device from the late 1990s called the Game Boy Game Jack. Not much is known about it these days, uh, I guess people have forgotten, um, and it's not so useful anymore, but uh, I figured uh, just for historical purposes people should know about it and uh, what it did. Um, I haven't seen any uh, videos online about it, only you know old archived instruction manuals uh, and pictures, so uh, I'll, I'll make a video of it. Um, I got this in Japan, actually. This is the, I guess, the Japanese imported version. Uh, and so here's the box uh, for the Japanese one. Uh, it says in Japanese, uh, Gain Kobo. Um, you can, I guess, uh, you can program your own uh, Game Boy games. That's a kit that lets you do that. It says GB Ijiro. I have no idea what that means, but um, I think the company Game Tech, which imports a lot of Hong Kong or other imported devices uh, usually gives things their own, you know, cute or cool name, at least to disguise the f the fact that it's a game copier or you know some kind of possibly quasi illegal thing. Um, and so this is the box that it came in, all in Japanese. Um, uh, it comes with a uh, parallel port cable. Um, Parallel port? Well, because it's Windows 98 and 95 compatible, you see. So it is from the late 1990s. You need a PC, Pentium 100 megahertz to run it, at least 24 megs of memory and 20 megabytes of hard disk space. Um, it comes with a game jack unit itself, um, a 4 megabit cartridge, um, and then cable to connect with the parallel port, and some CD software. On the software is a bunch of um, C development utilities and graphics editors to at least give this some legitimacy uh, for programmers. You know, if, if shops tried to stop people, they'd say, no, look, it's for making games in Windows and then to run it on a Game Boy. So this originally sold apparently for about 15,000 yen, $150 or so. Uh, and Game Tech is a pretty large uh, and popular game peripheral company that uh, imported and rebadged uh, pro action replay devices and other, maybe a couple other copiers. Yeah, so here's the box. Um, this is the instruction manual that uh, comes with it. Um, it is just a pretty much simple Japanese translation of the uh, Chinese English one that comes with the. Uh, the foreign version of the game jack. You can see what's bundled with it, um, how to use it, um, how to connect it to your PC. It needs some kind of, uh, or you can use some kind of adapter for the parallel port. I'm not sure what it does, but I guess it switches uh, SPP, EPP devices through a pin. And then how to install the software. Now you don't have to run this on your PC, and that's kind of the interesting thing about the game jack. Um, it is portable. It's a portable copier. Um, so here's a schematic. Here's how to use it in standalone mode. And then how to do some other. Uh, you can check the cartridge uh, just with, by looking at the flashing lights or blinking lights. Um, and here's a copyright notice for the uh, software that comes with it. So uh, yeah, they do credit the uh, Pascal Ferber and my, Michael Hope uh, So for the t Game Boy development kit. Uh, also, Harry Mulder, who did tile, the tile designer. Yeah, here's, here's the rest of the stuff that came inside the package. Uh, just a warranty card and uh, questionnaire. Pretty thin, but nice and long parallel cable and uh, some kind of adapter uh, switcher. Let's see, it says please switch A or B. I have no idea what that does. I'm not going to hook this up to my computer. Uh, I have other <laughs> Game Boy copiers that work a bit easier through the parallel port or some other ones, uh, even though they are kind of old and crusty. And the CD comes with all this Game Boy development kit, uh, tile designer, then the Game Jack uh, writer software version 1.0. All right, so let's have a look at the Game Jack. This is it. Um, it's got a switch for PC mode or uh, standalone mode, select button, start button, four lights, uh, 
it says game backup, game verify, and also RAM backup and RAM erase. So you can back up and uh, clear the save RAM in uh, any Game Boy game. Uh, OK Light, Busy Light. Um, it's got yeah, two Game Boy cartridge ports. And in the back is a 9-volt uh, uh, adapter cable and parallel port cable. Um, and in the back is a 9-volt uh, battery terminal, or battery compartment. So I'll put the battery in right now. Quality control passed. Yeah. Uh, I, I opened this up, and not very interesting inside, but uh, it was... Uh, this board's revision is May 3rd, 1999. Uh, and it contains a uh, PIC-16 microcontroller down there. Uh, probably, you know, of course, already programmed with its GameJack firmware. So, put a battery in. Snaps in, and probably just by turning it on, turns on. So, well, of course, uh, you can program your own Game Boy games uh, with this cartridge. Originally, it came with a 4 megabit Game Jack cartridge, but this happens to be a 16 meg uh, with a switch for auto, uh, which has its own mem menus, uh, uh, menu, the game menu built in, uh, oh, menu ROM, I meant to say. Uh, also, a switch for MBC. Uh, 1 and 2, or MBC5, which is the uh, Game Boy's memory controllers. So this doesn't have a, uh, a, me a game menu ROM in the, in the Game Boy. Uh, so I guess if you start it up, it'll be cloned exactly like a regular Game Boy game. Um, and if you program from the PC, you put this in slot 2, and you can download your games or ROMs or whatever to here. Um, but in standalone mode, uh, let's get a game. I guess we start with a regular old, regular old Tetris. The original one goes in slot one. Okay, and if you hold select and turn it on, it'll verify it. Okay, well it says it's okay, and this light means it's for all small game cartridges that use regular standard memory, uh, MBC one or two, that are under or equal to or under four megabits. So of course Tetris is like the smallest there is. So it won't do anything. I don't have any giant games here that I'll test, but um, first of all, I'll bring a couple more in. Got a small selection of games here. So of course, if you put the regular Game Boy cartridge in, of course it'll start up. Plain old Tetris. All right, I think I hope you can see that well enough. So, right now I think the game. There's another game in here where this is cleared. So, put the game jack cartridge in, on this side, uh, and so put this in. Put in Tetris. Switch it on. I press start. Oh, no, no luck. Start it up. There we go, and it copies it like that. Oh, that was very fast. If you hit verify, it'll compare the two. Yeah, it's fine. It's okay. Let's turn that off. So, oop, dirty connections. So yeah, Tetris has been copied. Here's the original, and here's the one running on the game jack. So uh, I guess this was meant for going over to your friend's house and uh, borrowing one of the games that, they, he li that you like. Uh, I guess uh, obviously you could go to any game shop if they have games open on the shelf and surreptitiously uh, steal one of the games off the shelf by copying it to your cartridge. Now, I don't know if you can actually back up the game that you've written on this cartridge over to your PC, so you can permanently keep it, uh, but, uh, you know, it is kind of a sneaky thing. And uh, I remember seeing another smaller device that fits on the back of a, a Game Boy, and it uses the Game Boy to copy it, uh, one cartridge into its internal uh, uh, flash, RAM, flash ROM. 
so that was also kind of a sneaky thing. Well, I'll try it with another game. Um, okay, I'll do turtles, I suppose. First plug it in, maybe hold down select. Yeah, it verified it, no problem. So plug this one in. That's copying it. Takes a bit longer for the larger games. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. Verify it. It seems to be okay. So try it out in here. So there it is, Ninja Turtles, <laughs> TMNT. Okay. Um, if you've ever had any other kind of copiers, like, uh, geez, what's that called? Um, a Game Boy Linker. I, I can't remember really remember the names of them anymore. But uh, you know, the standard uh, flash cartridges from the early uh, early two thousands or from the late nineteen nineties. Um, I don't know. Um, some games. Uh, just would never run in a flash cartridge. Um, I think one of them is this, uh, Roland's Curse, or maybe it's Roland's Curse 2. Um, also, uh, Gargoyle's Quest, Red Reamer on the uh, on the Game Boy from Capcom, uh, never worked in my flash copiers on the other ones. But this one actually seems to copy it just fine. So um, I suppose if without, without a menu program, um, or whatever the, the hardware is inside here, it, it emulates the uh, memory backup controller or the MBC in the Game Boy a bit better than just the average standard uh, Game Boy Linker ones. Let's try copying this. Nope. No dice. Now I think if you're doing this in a shop, trying to <laughs> copy a game secretly like that, you'd get caught pretty fast, just because the shopkeeper would find you switching stuff. There you go, that's copying. Verify. Seems okay. And that's Roland's Curse, the Japanese version of it. So uh, this one's this thing's pretty cool. Um, I don't use it that often, um, but um, I suppose if you ever find some awesome uh, game in a shop, they let you look at it, and you're a real bad guy, you could always use one of these, uh, copy it over, and take it home without buying it. So I guess that's technically illegal, or it enables illegal activities, um, but I'm pretty sure that uh, if there's a legitimate use for some kind of programming device or development device, um, they have you have an excuse there, and in some countries that even supersedes it. Uh, so that's this kind of cool thing. Um, I don't think anybody ever uh, sued the company that made it or put it out of business. Uh, there are other lots of obscure uh, Game Boy copiers out there. I would love to get this giant one that has a disc floppy disk drive on it. Um, just because it's weird and wild. But I hope you like uh, this little overview of the Game Jack. Um, not much more to say about it. It copies one game to this cartridge. Um, if you use the software that comes with it, uh, it allows you to uh, uh, load up a multi-cart with a menu program uh, and also do your own development. Uh, so that's about all.